the great lie, guys. The difference between a cult and a religion, and why they should never become part of any government institution that governs as a democracy. If you are living in a country that is governed according to democracy, where the people vote and have a voice, religion as we know it should never, never become law in any of those countries. And it's quite simple. In today's world, what we know as religion is a half-truth. And what a half-truth is a lie. If we have a look at what the meaning of a cult is, a cult is a system of religious veneration and devotion directed towards a particular figure or object. A particular figure or object. And there it says like the cult of St. Olaf. Secondly, a person or thing that is popular or fashionable among a particular group or section of society. Now that's the meaning of a cult. So, what is a figure and what is an object? An object can be a book, can be a statue. A figure can be like Jesus, like Muhammad. Um, the meaning of a cult directly correlates to what we understand religion to be. Like, I grew up a Christian. Now, if you look at Christianity and let's say Islam, because they are the two biggest cults or religions as people think that exist. Now, these people follow an object and a figure. They do not follow God. At least Islam kind of follows one God, but in fact they are following firstly an object, which is the Quran, and then a figure, which is Muhammad. Same goes for Christianity. So when we look at the meaning of religion, religion is the belief in and worship of a superhuman power or powers, especially a god or gods. Ideas about the relationship between science and religion. A particular system of faith and worship, plural noun religions. A pursuit or interest followed with great devotion. So the first meaning is which most people think religion is. But that's not what we as we know as religion today. If you literally take the meaning of a cult and put that into how religion functions, that's exactly what you get. You do not get a religion. It's cults. And that's why when you get people that follow a certain so-called religion, you get extremists. Like Islam, you get, let's say, suicide bombers um, that go for war, um, that they call the holy war, and stuff like that. Those are extremists. Um, the same goes for Christianity. Those who are extreme and believe everything and follow everything in the book that has become their god, they can do pretty heinous stuff. They become the judgment themselves. They want to judge people about who's good and who's bad. So why would we want any of these cults or so-called religions 
to be governed by a government, to force people to follow what they follow instead of following God. It is insane how the enemy is hiding stuff in plain sight and people has fallen for it. I mean, not many people understand what they are following. Um, they easy to point at cults within Christianity. They fight and they call the Catholics the bad ones and so on. When they all are doing the same thing. Why is it so hard to raise your children and show them how to live instead of being brainwashed by certain books and following certain um, traditions? Why is it so hard for people to be good without being controlled?